UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres has appointed Nigeria's Environmental Minister Amina Mohamed as his deputy. He also appointed Brazilian diplomat Maria Luisa Ribeiro Verti as Chief of Cabinet and another woman, Kyung Wakang of South Korea, to a newly created position as Special Advisor on Policy. Before her appointment as Environment Minister a year ago, Amina Muhammad was banned Special Advisor on post-2015 development planning, a role that culminated last year with the adoption by the General Assembly of Sustainable Development Goals for the next 15 years. Guterres will take over from current Secretary General Ban Ki-moon on January 1st. He was sworn in on Monday as the ninth male UN chief and pledged to reach gender parity among senior leadership within his five-year term. I am pleased to announce that I will be appointing Ms. Amina Mohamed of Nigeria as my Deputy Secretary General and Ms. Maria Luisa Ribeiro Viotti of Brazil as my Chef de Cabinet. I also intend to create the position of Special Advisor on Policy and to appoint Ms. Kyung Hwa Kang of the Republic of Korea to this new role. I'm happy to count on the efforts of these three highly competent women whom I have chosen for their strong backgrounds in global affairs, development, diplomacy, human rights and humanitarian action. These appointments are the foundation of my team, which I will continue to build, respecting my pledges on gender parity and geographical diversity. The 66-member UN Group of Friends for Women Secretary General has renamed itself the Group of Friends for Gender Parity and hopes to build on the momentum created during the election campaign. Guterres beat out 12 other candidates, seven of whom were women, as the next Secretary General amid a strong push by some UN states as well as civil society groups for a female to be elected. Uganda and other East African nations are now bracing for a massive influx of refugees from South Sudan.